ETH. Let's now look into ETH. So in terms of the macro, the same still applies in that um, there's a focus on Fed Chair Powell speaking today, but we believe that um, he'll keep his cards somewhat close to his chest and therefore he won't push back on the easing of financial conditions that we've seen over the past week or so. Um, and therefore we feel risk assets can still be in this accommodative environment. Therefore, that should give some sort of fuel or help ETH to maybe go higher. Now, let's now look at ETH from a TA perspective and then look at ETH from a mechanics perspective. We'll also compare it to Bitcoin to see which looks like the better play um, if an imminent ETF approval does come. So looking at ETH in terms of the TA, we have this local uptrend, which is good. It's held for now. If this local uptrend were to break, we think the whole the whole market will generally come down. But if this uh, uptrend line were to break, the immediate support is at 1853. So it's somewhere across these wicks here. So 1850 to sort of 1860 is the very local support. The more major support is at 1745. If ETH does come down to 1745 or sub this level, this is very likely a fantastic long term buying opportunity if you have a 12 to 18 month time horizon where you're willing to hold for that period of time. Now, in terms of ETH getting some further upside, it's likely we need Bitcoin to at least sit still or continue on higher. If, if Bitcoin does pull back, ETH will also likely do the same and probably perform slightly worse um, as it's just performed slightly worse throughout this whole move higher. Um, if we look at the three day time frame, we can see this 1933 horizontal resistance, which ETH is now butting into, is quite an important level. If we can get above this level, this likely opens a door for a move immediately into $2,100 and potentially even into the $2,300 area. If we look at the funding rates, we can see across the board, they're still relatively positive and not signs of overheating. Of course, on these um, less liquid exchanges like BitMEX, for example, um, the, the funding rate is massively positive because nobody essentially wants to go into the short. So the exchange have to have a really positive funding rate to try to entice those shorts in to bring the derivatives price back in line with the spot price. But if we look at this across exchanges and get a more sort of um, view across the market as a whole, we can see that weighted funding rate has kicked up in the last 24 hours or so. So we've gone from plus or positive 0 0.0113, so call it 113, to now 161. So there is a movement higher here, suggesting that um, there is a, a stronger, greater bias to be long. So should we be concerned by that? Well, the open interest ha is high, but it hasn't gone dramatically higher like the funding rate has um, in the last 24 hours. What this suggests is that the open interest is getting slightly higher, but it's not at, over, it's not at um, overheated levels. And because we've seen the funding rate go meaningfully higher, but open interest not go meaningfully higher, this essentially means that this is probably shorts coming off, being taken off rather than more longs piling in. So essentially, it's just a number of participants closing their shorts. So overall, this is still a relatively healthy setup. You'd rather the funding rate not be as positive as it is. It's much better to be around just the, the positive 0.01% mark rather than at 161. Um, but overall, this is still relatively positive in terms of an actual setup from a mechanics point of view. We therefore, we like ETH. And if we look at it on the weekly time frame. We think ETH is one of those ones that just it hasn't been able to get it hasn't been able to have that lid taken off it where it's really shot higher. Bitcoin, for instance, has has was able to get above that thirty one thousand dollar area, which then opened that lid or lifted that lid off of it. And it was able to go mark, uh, markedly higher. If we look at ETH, we haven't had that as of yet. So we think the more attractive play here is actually to go into ETH rather than Bitcoin, assuming and we feel that the market can get above and break out if the ETF news or the hype around it does remain positive. If we get the ETF approval within this next week, then we think ETH will really surge. Bitcoin will, of course, have its surge, but a lot of that has been priced in. We still feel ETH is somewhat underbought here and there is substantial, substantial upside to be had. If ETH does dip below on the daily time frame now, 
back into the late 1700s or even late 1600s, we would be really aggressive DCA buyers in this range with a very long term time horizon view of 12 to 18 months. However, looking at this on a more zoomed zoomed out time frame, we still feel that 1900 is a very good price for the long run and it still leaves you with substantial upside potentially in the short run and also the long run. So overall, we do really like ETH here currently. And if there were to be a 10% pullback, we'd be strong, aggressive DCA buyers into 